Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Literary Lutheran Reads the Psalter with Luther. This episode is for Wednesday, and today we read Psalm 141. The 141st Psalm is a psalm of prayer. The psalm is prays that he may be preserved from the ungodly teachers who appear to be friendly and speak with smooth words when threats do not work. It is better for me, he says, that righteous teachers rebuke me and condemn my righteousness than that the godless praise me. And if, in the meantime, evil comes upon me, and I suffer cross and death, and I am uprooted and torn apart, still it is better for me to trust in the Lord. Their hypocrisy will finally break their neck on a rock, that is, be suddenly overthrown and come to an evil end. Then they will see how bitter is their sweet teaching and how precious is my sour doctrine. Their own doctrine, in which they are caught, as in a net, will bring them down while I pass by in safety. O Lord, I call upon you, hasten to me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer be counted as incense before you, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth, keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not let my heart incline to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds in company with men who work iniquity, and let me not eat of their delicacies. Let a righteous man strike me, it is a kindness. Let him rebuke me. It is oil for my head. Let my head not refuse it. Yet my prayer is continually against their evil deeds. When their judges are thrown over the cliff, then they shall hear my words, for they are pleasant. As when one plows and breaks up, breaks up the earth, so shall our bones be scattered at the mouth of Sheol. But my eyes are toward you, O God, my Lord. In you I seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap that they have laid for me, and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, while I pass by safely. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This has been the Literary Lutheran Reads the Psalter with Luther, and I wish you all a blessed day.